Hello my friends, it's your boy Zero and today we're gonna be doing something really different because in this video my friends I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to use the chopsticks the right way so let me just put this aside for now so more and more people are becoming more interested in the Asian culture because of K-pop, Korean dramas, C dramas and anime so food really plays a huge role in one's culture so I figured that it's really important to know how to properly use the chopsticks without offending some other people so let me make myself some warm ramen noodles so that I can give you guys a proper visual example let's go my friends mmm yummy let's go Okay, so the proper way to handle a chopstick is to make sure that your form is looking something like this. Your index finger, your thumb, and your middle finger is on the right side of the chopstick. And the only finger that is on the left side of the chopstick is your ring finger. So basically, all we need is only four fingers. Your pinky finger is just giving you a little bit more control. So I've seen many people holding their chopsticks You know, something like this And when they grab their food, their chopsticks kind of like, you know Overlap one another Something like this And that is the wrong way of using the chopsticks So what you want to be doing is to make sure that your chopsticks don't overlap Like no matter how you're moving your fingers You know you're doing it the right way when your chopsticks don't overlap one another something like this and this side of the chopstick is the only side that we will be moving as you guys can see the left side of my chopstick isn't moving at all we'll be controlling the chopstick with just the right side and if you guys observe closely enough you'll see that my thumb isn't really moving and the movement is mostly in my index finger and my middle finger so how you're gonna be using it is just the same way that I'm describing it to you guys so this is basically the movement that you want in your chopsticks and when you put it down the left side of your chopstick will automatically move by itself something like this take a look a little closer and you will notice that the only finger that's moving is my index finger and my middle finger so yeah so all you gotta do is just lift it up like this what you do not want to be doing is like something like this you know you can see that my chopsticks right now are overlapping one another and it just makes it really hard to lift the noodles so yeah so anyways i just want to add a really quick note to this video that it is okay to use the chopstick any way that you want you can overlap it by all means it is fine as long as you get the job done but the purpose of this video is to get that proper Asian form Asian form Asian form So just a few rules when using the chopstick, sticking your chopstick like this because when you stick the chopsticks like this, it looks like a pot for putting the joysticks, for praying to God or praying to the dead. So in Asian culture, doing this is really disrespectful. So just take a little cautious on what you're doing and you'll be fine. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this really short video on how to use the chopsticks the proper way. And I really hope that you guys are able to master this 
technique because you seriously impress all the Asian people, especially the elderly. So good luck in your learning process. Don't beat yourself too hard on it if you don't get the technique in like your first or second or third try because it took your boy a few weeks before he's able to use the chopsticks. So I learned how to use the chopsticks when I was around five or six years old and it took me probably like a few weeks before mastering the technique. So take your time, have a little patience. So how do you know if you have successfully mastered the technique? Once you can grab a regular object like a cashew nut in your sleep, then you know you have mastered the technique. So let me give it a shot. No! This can't be happening. Yes! I got it! So yeah, have fun practicing. Hope you guys can master this technique and impress your friend and the elderly. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next one. See you all my friends. Peace. Not you, I'm just so, so